2018 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport Review. Beset with lots of flaws, the Outlander Sport is outmatched by more refined small crossovers. Relativity often influences critical opinion. Just as Happy Gilmore may be seen as a cinematographic masterpiece as compared to, say, Paul Blot, Malcop 2, the 2018 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport is worlds much better than classic automotive stinkers including the Chevrolet Vega and Ford Pinto. Undoubtedly, the Outlander Sport will safely allow you to where you have to go. But in comparison to its modern competition, this bite-sized Mitsubishi fails to deliver in virtually every category. We say nearly since there are a couple bright spots towards the Outlander Sport. The main one is value. It's on the list of least expensive crossover SUVs you'll encounter, yet Mitsubishi has were able to pack it with many of the features you'll probably want. Mitsubishi's warranty coverage is also much better than most which often can further the financial appeal on the Outlander Sport if you are planning to own it for an extended time. But for anything else we evaluate vehicles on, the Outlander Sport introduces the rear. It's noisy and slow when excel, uncomfortable and harsh riding over bumps, and never overwhelmingly versatile at a utility standpoint. In general, the Outlander Sport is ineffective at convincing you you bought anything aside from basic transportation. Like a plucky Happy Gilmore winning a golf tournament to save the day, we want to see the plucky Outlander Sport tries to greatness. For now, however, the world thinks you'll be much happier with rival crossovers like the Honda, HRV, Jeep Renegade and Mazda CX-3. What's new? For 2018, the Mitsubishi Outlander receives updated styling front and back, minor interior enhancements, and changes told to reduce cabin noise. There are latest features this year too. Every Outlander Sport presently has a touchscreen display, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration is roofed on most trim levels. There's also a new option package for that sort trim level that features advanced driver safety aids. The GT trim level may be discontinued. Get the Outlander Sports Say Trim. It's the lowest priced way to get greater powerful 2.4 liter engine. You'll appreciate its extra power, and there is hardly any dip in fuel economy when compared with the less powerful 2.0 litre engine located on the S and lit trim levels. The SE boasts a solid combination of features for instance keyless ignition and entry, heated front seats, plus a touchscreen interface with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration. Trim Levels and Features the 2018 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport is really a five-passenger compact crossover SUV that could be seen as the tiny brother to your three-row Outlander. The intra-level S and L are motivated by way of a 2.0-litre four-cylinder engine 148 horsepower, 145 pound-feet that is often a bit slow. The Say and Sil are powered using a 2.4-litre four-cylinder 168 horsepower, 167 LBFT that feels wealthier front-wheel drive is standard, and all-wheel drive is optional on all trims. Standard S features include 18-inch alloy wheels, heated mirrors, remote locking and unlocking, cruise control, automatic climate control, a leather-wrapped tilt antless coping tyre, a height-adjustable driver seat, a person information display, 6040 split folding rear seat backs, Bluetooth, a 7 inch touchscreen display, a rear view camera, as well as a 4 speaker speakers with a USB port. A 5 speed manual transmission is standard, as well as a continuously variable automatic transmission CVT is optional. The Litrim adds Xenon headlights with LED running lights, fog lights, Special exterior and interior styling details, heated front seats, a leather wrapped controls, along with a slightly smaller touchscreen 6.5 inches that's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration.
Next would be the Outlander Sports Satrim. It gets most in the Liz upgrades except the Xenon headlights and styling changes. It even offers the 7 inch touchscreen now with all the Android and Apple phone integration along with a 6 speaker sound system with satellite radio with an extra USB port. When you step up on the sill, you will get the Xenon headlights plus power folding mirrors, automatic wipers, an auto dimming rear view mirror, leather upholstery along with a power adjustable driver seat. The main factory option for your 2018 Outlander Sport is often a touring package with the sill. It includes a panoramic sunroof, a 9 speaker Rockford Fosgate audio system, forward collision warning with automatic emergency braking lane departure warning and automatic high beam headlights trim tested each vehicle typically will come in multiple versions which can be fundamentally similar the s in this particular review provide our full test of the 2017 mitsubishi outlander sports or 2.4 liters in line 4 cvt automatic awd note since this test was conducted the existing Outlander Sport has brought only minor revisions. Our findings remain applicable to this coming year's model. Driving The Sport in Outlander Sport is really a misnomer. The 2.0-litre engine is underpowered, the CVT performs poorly, and it is handling and suspension tuning are unrefined. It's a pretty dreary vehicle to operate a vehicle. Acceleration our measure do 6 so miles per hour use of 8.5 seconds while using 2.4 litre engine is usually a bit greater than average with this class of vehicle. Performance suffers with all the smaller engine, though. With either engine, acceleration is uneven as a consequence of an overly sensitive gas pedal. Braking The brake pedal is soft. To have to press it somewhat harder than anticipated to slow the Outlander Sport. Distances and simulated panic stops from 60 miles per hour are reasonable with this class. However, stability under hard braking is poor because of extreme nose dive and side to side wiggling. Steering Every steering motion is met, which is a delayed body reaction. Even worse, fears hardly any instant to feel. You constantly should make modifications to keep the Outlander Sport going decrease the road. Handling The Outlander Sport is affected with skittish handling and huge amounts of body roll when it is driven aggressively around turns. It doesn't inspire much confidence in the ability to make evasive maneuvers during emergency handling situations. Drivability the Outlander Sport lurches forward when you accelerate because of the jumpy gas pedal and overly aggressive CVT transmission gearing. You can manually shift for fixed gear ratios while using shift paddles, but reactions are sluggish and inconsistent. Comfort The Outlander Sport lacks the ride comfort and suspension compliance of their competition. It's okay for around town use but those that often drive long distances will discover it overly fidgety on the road. Seat Comfort Our test vehicle had the leather upholstery. It's hard and inflexible, reducing comfort. You also are likely to sit very upright, like in a dinner table. It's not comfortable for long distance driving. Ride Comfort Kind with the worst of all worlds. The Outlander Sport rides harshly over sharp-edged bumps and cracks, yet it really is floaty over smooth undulations in the street. Noise and Vibration Fears no escaping noise within the Outlander Sport. From the droning engine to road surface and wind noise, always mindful of your environment. The engine is quite noisy during hard acceleration. Note that Mitsubishi says the 2018 model is quieter. Climate Control The Outlander Sport's climate technique is loud if you crank up the fan speed. Overall, system performance is adequate. Interior 
The Atlanta Sports controls are simple enough to use, though the ergonomics are at best for a wide range of physique. It's also hard to view out the back windows. Ease beneficial. All controls are really easy to access and clearly marked. The metal column mounted paddle shifters really are a nice touch, most cars have plastic. Gauges are evident and watchable. Getting in or getting out. The front doors are large and open wide. Although built with keyless entry, you still should push some control on the door handle to lock and unlock. Front seat passengers will quickly realize getting in and out is simple, but taller adults will need to tuck their heads right down to get in back. Driving position. The Outlander Sport puts you in an upright driving position that isn't unlike your mother hinting to sit up at the dining table. Even with eight-way power seats plus an adjustable tilt and less coping tire, the plethora of adjustability is restricted. Roominess. It seems as small around the inside since its compact exterior proportions suggest. This is not a motor vehicle for taller passengers. Despite a corner seat cushion's low perch, headroom is lacking. Visibility. Fears good visibility forward and on the sides, but large roof pillars along with a small rear window limit your view the back. The side mirrors are large. The rear view camera carries a low resolution, however it's still usable helping in confined parking lots. Quality. The Outlander Sport is created well. While the design is dated, the many trim pieces fit together being a cohesive unit. There were no rattles and noises from my test vehicle. The quality from the materials is subpar, however. Utility. The Outlander Sport doesn't score well in any other area, but it really works adequately for cargo duty. Fears also in abundance of small item storage available. Small item storage. You'll find a lot of small item storage. The door pockets are large and may take a medium sized water bottle, and also the cubby within the center stack holds a phone. There are two cup holders and also a cubby situated within the center console. Cargo space. The 6040 split bench could be folded without treatment of headrests or sliding seats forward, however, the release button is very to access in the hatch. Once folded, the location is flat and expansive, as well as the tall roof line and short carry over distance make clothing easy. Child safety seat accommodation. Car seats might be accommodated from the two outboard rear seating positions as a result of easily accessible latch points, as the upper anchors are only able to be accessed from your hatch area. Technology. We have not yet tested this coming year's updated infotainment system within the Outlander Sport. But we like that Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard on every trim level except the Campus.